Hello everybody, this is my version of the snake game created in Microsoft MakeCode for Microbits. So this game utilizes a variety of different cloud computing and distributed systems technologies in order to create a version of the snake game that operates using Microbits. Right. To begin, you would require five Microbits. Of these five, four would be set up in a 2x2 two two grid, and these Microbits will form the screen for the game. Within this screen, you would be able to view activities such as the snake and its movements, as well as the apples being generated, which help increase the player's score. A separate micro bit would operate as the controller. This controller would be responsible for activities such as displaying the startup message, which tells the user to press both A and B to start, the all button inputs such as A and B to start, A to turn left and B to turn right, as well as displaying the game over message and final score when the player loses. Right. Now we're going to delve into some of the code behind the snake game and the different micro bits that use it. So the first code we're going to look at is the code for the controller. Now, as I mentioned before, the controller is responsible for all user inputs, such as A to turn left, B to turn right, and A and B to start the game. Uh, this micro bit also utilizes a bunch of different functions, such as the start function, which tells the first micro bit to generate the snake. The kill code function, which sends a code around the entire system that tells all the other micro bits to clear their screen because the snake has died. The make apple function, which generates an apple somewhere within the 2x2 micro bit grid and then transmits those coordinates to the necessary micro bit. And finally, it also has the capability to receive radio signals determining whether the snake is moving between micro bits, if the game has been lost or if the apple has been eaten and a new one needs to be generated. From there, the code that makes up the screens is relatively the same. Each of them begins with a while loop that checks the length of an array named snake. This array is full of the sprites that will eventually form the snake, but whilst it is empty, it does not run as it assumes that the game has either not started or that the snake is in a separate micro bit. Once there is a value within that array though, the program begins. The first thing it does is create an empty array called chords and saves the coordinates of each node in the snake to this array. From there, it checks if it needs to turn the snake left or right and does so and makes the snake head move by one. Once the head of the snake has been moved by one, it checks if the head has encountered an apple. If so, the apple is deleted and a message is sent to the controller for a new apple to be generated. However, if not, the program continues as usual. After this check for apples has been complete, the program works on moving the rest of the snake. To do this, it uses the array of saved coordinates created at the beginning of the loop and sets those coordinates to each node in the snake except for the head. As a result, this creates the illusion that the entire snake has moved forward by one. Ultimately, the only difference between the four micro bits that make up the screen is which edges send the snake to a different micro bit and which edges send the game over message. We will now view a demonstration of the game. When the controller is started, it displays the message press A plus B to start. When doing so, it generates the apple and the snake. Pressing the B button turns the snake right, or pressing the A button turns it left. From receiving a snake, an apple, the length of the snake increases by one and a new apple is generated. Furthermore, when encountering an edge, the snake will move to the next micro bit unless it releases a game over edge, upon which all the micro bits clear the screen and the game over message is sent to the controller. Finally, the controller displays the final score, which in our case, was three. Due to the way the system is set up, it is an example of a hybrid cloud and distributed system. Due to how each of the micro bits that create the screen shares roughly the same code with the same functionality, that being moving the snake, checking for apples, and transmitting between the different micro bits, this is an example of a distributed system. However, certain functionality within the controller are more in line with that of a cloud system. 
This is due to how functions such as generating the Apple and transmitting it throughout the network, as well as the user inputs and the turning messages sent to the snake are all managed through this one device. As a result, this system balances the two networking types in order to create a fast and efficient way to replicate the snake game using microbits. To ensure security of our radio transmissions, strings are used to send data throughout the network. A string typically contains a negative number followed by the message. When a microbit receives a radio transmission, the first thing it does is split the message at the space value. Once it has done this, it reads the negative number at the beginning to determine what type of message is being sent. It then uses the second part of the message, being the actual message itself, to determine what to do. This prevents random radio traffic from other microbits on the same radio channel from interfering with the game and ensures the security of the distributed system. Finally, this system is incredibly scalable due to the way the screens work. Since the screens operate by using the edges to determine whether to send the snake to a different microbit or to send a game over message, the screen can effectively be extended infinitely with only minor tweaks to the code. As a result, this makes the game incredibly scalable, allowing for potentially massive scale implementations of this snake game. Thank you for watching and I hope you've enjoyed this demonstration of my implementation of the snake game using Microsoft MakeCode and Microbits.